Welcome back to Money Exchange. We're getting closer to the end of November, and I want to warn you that next month could potentially be one of the most profitable times to be a currency investor. It could also be one of the most damaging months if you do not manage risk appropriately. I say this because it's been decades since the two biggest economic regions of the world have complete opposite monetary policy programs. The European Central Bank is likely going to lower deposit rates and inject or extend its current stimulus program on December the 3rd. On December the 18th, the US Fed is likely going to do the opposite and raise interest rates for the first time in 10 years. Europe is the biggest economic region in the world and the USA is the largest economic country. It's a rare event that you have Europe dropping interest rates and printing money and the US raising interest rates. Therefore, there is every reason to anticipate increased volatility on currency markets in December. So I want to discuss for a moment the likely outcomes for both the Euro and the US dollar in December based on the upcoming policy decisions. Let's start with the European Central Bank. Virtually all institutions and banks are predicting the euro will fall, but the euro will be dependent on the size of the ECB's announcement, the fall that is. Any further fall on December 3rd is going to be dependent on the scope and size of interest rate cuts and the extent of how much money they're going to electronically create. The euro will likely fall sharply if the ECB lowers interest rates further than the market expects, or the ECB injects more stimulus than the market expects. If this was the scenario, then the euro will highly likely fall lower and down to parity against the US dollar in coming months. But if their announcement is in line with what the market expects, then the euro has the potential to even rally, simply because right now, is a very overcrowded trade in the market and it's the Euro USD and the smart money has been riding the Euro lower for weeks now. The ECB's announcement is set for next Thursday. Now, let's talk about the US dollar. The US dollar has been rising for four years. The US Fed stopped printing money at the end of 2013 and we've been pricing in an interest rate cut for more than two years. So here are my thoughts. Just like the ECB, the volatility or further rise in the US dollar is going to depend on the size of the rate increase on the 18th of December and what sort of forward guidance the US Fed gives with respect to further rate increases. You will see the US dollar rise sharply if the US Fed raises rates more than the market expects and says in its statement that more interest rate increases should be expected in coming months. If this was what the US Fed did then, what's the likely reaction and how is the upside going to play out? Just like the ECB, if the US Fed only meets what the market expects, then we could see the opposite reaction and the US dollar fall. Right now, I believe there's a 75% chance the US Fed will raise interest rates on December the 18th. But keep in mind, there's two weeks between the two announcements. So there's plenty of time for the market to digest the ECB's decision before the US Fed announcement. So how do you play the opportunity? Your focus has to be maintained on a consistent approach to your risk management and ensure any positions you're currently in are maximised to the full profit potential if the market goes your way. You have to make hay when the sun shines in the currency market. As an investor, it's important you win big when the market trends and you must never exit a trade because you just want to lock in profit that self-satisfies your own ego and makes you feel like a winner for about 10 minutes. If it's going your way and you understand the fundamentals as to why it's going in your way, ride it. Have some conviction, have some courage. Successful investors don't focus on how many times they're right and wrong. 
we focus on the big wins and how big, win, how big those wins are and how small the losses are. The smart money will always be forming an expectation of what the central bank is going to do. And if they have conviction in that expectation, they'll be trading in that direction for months or even years or more before the central bank decision is actually made. Great traders are like detectives. They seek out opportunities before everyone else has figured out it's a good idea. OK, don't go away because after the break, our next guest will tell us who is giving travellers the best deal when it comes to travel cards when heading overseas? More in a moment.